dear puppy do? Come on. Yours. Got life to lead. Give it in. Give it in. Up it gets. Ooh. Good morning. Yeah. Kill it, little puppy. Kill it, you. Oh, it's a sleepy day. Oh. Nom, 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 nom. Good boy. Yes, he is. Good morning, dog fans. This is the Word of Dog Blog, Volume 2, Episode 2, Series 1. <laughs> Today is the second day um, that I have a puppy. I'm spanking new dog. Very exciting. Um, so you must be asking yourself, what do I need to do um, if I'm on day two with a puppy? So my puppy is eight weeks old. Um, he's having his afternoon or morning snooze. It's about nine o'clock in the morning now. Um, and last night was the first night that he had to sleep downstairs um, on his own. He had to sleep downstairs the first night uh, that we got him back, but he was so tired from that journey, I don't think there was any cognition at all. Whereas last night, he obviously spent the entire day with us, so putting him to bed was really difficult. Um, everybody has a problem with this. It's a really difficult point in time, and my best advice is do not go to bed with your dog. <laughs> I do not take the puppy to bed. Right now, they are the cutest they will ever be, um, and it is so tempting to just cuddle them and baby them and sleep with them and, and just soak up all that wonderful um, baby time really but what you're teaching your puppy to do there is, is, is sleep with you, with the smell of you, with the warmth of you um, all of the time and then they're really going to struggle to be able to sleep when they're on their own so it is love absolutely that put me uh, put that puppy into his crate last night and said look I've got to go to bed now um, it was about 11 o'clock at night, he'd had lots of little mini bouts, lots of little sleeps during the day um, and we put him down to sleep. My Harry Houdini puppy managed to get through the baby gate <laughs> in the middle of the night and woke up um, on my partner's bag in the morning. So he's a clever boy, he's a very good problem solving little puppy. Now the key here when it comes to separation at night time, um, hard as it is, yes your puppy is going to whine, yes they're going to whinge. Um, it's the first time in their life where they've not had anybody else around them, you know. They've had, my dog has had up to eight litter mates that are constantly checking what he's doing or he's constantly checking what they're doing. There's someone to com uh, comfort him at any time, someone to cuddle up to. And he hasn't got that now. Um, he's just got us. And every time we walk in the room, a big golden light shines on us um, because we're the most exciting thing that's around. So, of course, it's going to be difficult for first couple of nights but the best thing you can do is if you know you've taken them for a little wander um, or they've had some exercise, a little bit of play or you did a bit of training with them, make sure they've had a wee, make sure they've had a poo um, and then put them into bed with something lovely and delicious to chew on like a, um, a dentist stick or a little nylon chew. You can get puppy cones as well which are lovely soft rubber that they can chew um, and just go to bed. You have to do it and um, you have to break the cycle of constant attention and comfort. So we had to do that last night, really hard, really difficult. And everything, if you're a female, if you're a girly, um, everything in you is gonna say, I need to get to my puppy, you know, my puppy needs me, I can hear it whining, I can hear it whinging. Um, and the less scrupulous puppy owner at this age might leave the dog while it's doing a hum, 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 and then only come back to it when it howls. Um, and puppies do, they will in the early days, really, not understand what's going on. The easiest and, and nicest way of teaching your dog to be relaxed and cool and calm over the evening period um, is to go to bed at the same time and get up at the same time every day. The thing you have to tell yourself when you're lying in bed going, my puppy is crying, is that the puppy is safe. You know, the environment is safe. I personally don't like to shut the puppy into the crate at night time. Ideally, I'd have a, a puppy pen around the crate um, mine is on delivery, so that's going to be a bit difficult for a couple of days, but the reason being that the puppy's going to need to wake up and go for a wee, and the last thing that I want is for my puppy to have to wee in its bed. Um, so it's really easy to set up a situation where the puppy can move away from where it's sleeping, have a wee, and you can say to yourself, look, they're safe, they're well fed, they're well loved, if they need to go to the toilet they can, no harm is going to come to my dog, I can go to bed and I can get up the next day. And if you do that, you know, for four days in a row, uh, the puppy will very swiftly start to get to understand 
the routine um, and it will become a lot less traumatic when you have to go to bed in the morning properly. It is hard. <laughs> I know, it's really hard. Um, so, today is day two. What have I got to do today? At this age and stage, he's so small, you know, he can probably deal with about 20 minutes maximum of really good information, bit of training, bit of a wander around outside. Um, and then he's tired, he's like a baby, he's going to need a little sleep. So today we're really focusing on toilet training um, and obviously a lot of socialisation. So we're going to go out in the van today, we're going to go and see lots of exciting things, um, meet up to 100 people he's got to meet before he's 16 weeks old, which is a lot of people. So we're going to make sure we take that really slowly and not rush him into too much because he's very young. In terms of toilet training, this is the top thing you can focus on right now. If there's one thing you can do, you can teach your dog to go to the toilet outside. And now the key with toilet training is to be available for when your dog needs the toilet. So, when is a puppy going to need to have a wee? As soon as they've woken up, they're going to desperately need to go to the toilet. So make sure you can be around, okay? As soon as they've had a little chew, um, if they've met somebody new who's just come into the house and something exciting has happened, if they've had a really good play, um, they're going to tend to need the toilet as well, just like when we play hide and seek and we get really excited, we suddenly really need a wee. So it's exactly the same for the puppy. And the most important principle with, with toilet training is that when you can see this puppy is sniffling around, walking around, sniffing the floor, that is your signal. You want to either pick that puppy up and or invite them to follow you all the way outside. Uh, and then you're going to shut that back door and go outside with them. You know, so many people will stand at the door and say, go and have a wee. And the puppy's like, but you're inside and I'm outside and it's not fair. So go outside with the puppy. Be out there with them. You're going to go outside. You're going to cross your arms and you're not going to interact with the puppy. And they're going to go, what are we doing? And they're going to run around the garden uh, and, and play with loads of stuff and interact with it. The temptation is there to say, no, uh-uh, don't do it, don't do it leave them to it they're going to bomb around the garden all they're doing is saying what are we here for what are we doing how do i get your attention what's the, what's the plan <laughs> and if you can ignore the puppy for long enough you know five minutes um the puppy will involve itself with the floor sniff around and then they will squat and have a wee and that's your really important moment to give you a wee cue so you might say weenies while the puppy is in a little squat as soon as the puppy's had a wee you're going to treat that dog and and give it a little treat and then bring it back into the house so the dog starts to learn okay it's cold outside I don't really want to keep going outside it's cold we don't need to be out here um, how do I get back in the house and you say well if you have a wee they give you a treat we can go back inside so that is really important and you have to be available in the first couple of weeks of your puppy's life to be able to do that on the hour every hour so the puppy gets a really good understanding that the weeing outside is great if the puppy does go for a wee inside the house, don't stress about it and don't mark it by saying uh-oh or, or praise it even, just let it go. It's going to happen, they're going to have accidents inside the house. The most important principle about teaching an eight-week-old puppy is that they're learning, that they're loved and that they're safe. So this is not the time yet um, to put in really uh, you know, strong disciplinarian attitudes because he's far too young. <laughs> What he wants to learn about you is that you're understanding, that you're patient, um, and that you're going to show him what to do and how to get through life. So toilet training 101 today. Um, I'm also going to go and see if I can get some new uh, puppy food. Um, he's been on Arden Grange Puppy, which is fine. It's a good kibble. Um, I really love raw feeding, so I'm going to see if I can go to a pet shop um, and get some advice on raw feeding. So I'll get back to you a little bit later in the day. So this is a really fun way of teaching your dog uh, a new trick um, whilst feeding them some lunch. So rather than uh, give my dog a bowl full of food, which for a puppy at this age is super boring, instead what I'm going to do um, is teach him to sit while I throw a toy and when he brings the toy anywhere near me, I'm going to click and give him some food. He's a good puppy. He's doing really well at carrying at the moment. That's a good one.
own way of teaching um, a bit of fetch uh, and toy trust and trust around resources. And obviously it's going to tire him out as well because he's having to think each stage of the way. What a good puppy. A little scratch. His collar has now been on for 24 hours and he's dealing with it really well. I'm also leaving this lead tashed because I'm going to use it on walks. So the longer that he has it on him, um, I won't leave it uh, attached to him when he's unattended. But when I'm with him, um, the more that he gets used to a lead dragging, the easier it will be when I let him off lead in the park. Good boy.
Snap my fingers. Get the teddy bear. Yes. Good boy. Get the bear.